M0FXB. Welcome back to my videos on the Alinka. Wow, look at that message. Alinka DJX100. There's a lot of information there. So this is called ACARS. So it's Aircraft Information. It stands for Aircraft Communications Addressing Reporting System. And the description is a digital data link system for the transmission of messages between aircraft and ground stations. So there's obviously a lot more to it. So how do you get your Elinco DJX100 to do this? So let's just go back to the beginning. So we'll turn this mode off by going set display mode, set basic display. And then we wouldn't normally be in, in the mode of ACARS. We're going to go mode digital for now. And then let's just set DMR, set. So there's our normal mode, and we've got memories here. Got some, uh, there's air band, look, a few stations there, adding memories. So if we just go into VFO mode and type in this frequency, so 131, just type it in, 131.7250. Zero. zero again, and zero. Okay, then you want the mode, so mode, and then you're going to go to data, set, and you're going to choose A cards. We'll check, we'll test AIS next. Set, and I got this frequency from Jacob, my friend, who, who gives me a lot of help regarding you know scanners, basically. Um, so anyway, like that, and then how do how do we get? So it's coming through anyway without the GPS sort of screen, and if you understand what this information is give us more info, but some of the messages are more detailed than others. But I had it in the sort of GPS screen. So the way you do that, you go set, display mode, not display for changing colors, display mode, set, and then you just go to position display and you've got GPS display as well. Let's do that one. And because we're on the same frequency, the radio or the scanner still works in the normal way. So let's just wait for a couple of messages to come through. And then we're going to look at the one called AIS. There's one come through. It means a lot to them. <laughs> and I, I'm using an external antenna. If you get outside, you'll be fine. But inside your room, like I am, then you need to, you know, I've connected it to a VHF and a UHF antenna. In my loft, actually. There's another one there, and we're listening to some ham radio in the background. So let's now do a, let's get it right, AIS Marine. So we're going to go, put in a different frequency, we're going to go 161, uh, 975, oh, dot 975. And then we're going to change the mode, we're going to go mode, data. AIS set. Now this is boat information. So I think we're in the wrong screen anyway for that. So we go set, display, and we need position. And the same goes for the other one. But anyway, so now we're going to see, I don't know if we're going to pick up anything marine where I live, but these are all the settings. Now there are further things you can adjust here. And it tells you here, and I never used this before, so I, I actually don't know. But it tells you on the screen, so you've got GPS right and left, up and down. I would say it's 2, 8, 4, and 6. And you've got CLS. So just try it. See it changing? Let's do 6. I'm just pushing everything. <laughs> Oh, it's gone back there, so back. Let's try the side buttons. No. Actually, there was changes there, look. The, the distance is changing there. Let's go back. The seven is H up and and N up, that could be north, could it? Eight, nine, and the nine is again changing the distance. So is the three. 
So if you're an expert on this, you'll know exactly what you're doing. Don't seem to be receiving anything. But I thought I'd show you just another part of the functionality of this device. I've added a few repeaters as well. Uh, just sort of local ones. I thought, because I keep doing hotspots, but that's the easy way. So if we go to my memory channels, added, that's a C4FM repeater. Pretty sure it's GB7. It's either IT or IS, probably IS. There's a D-Star repeater, but not active at the moment. GB7CD, that's my Hubnet node. And there's GB7FI, DMR. And they do, they come through clear, but, um, you know, typical, isn't it, that, that um, we're not hearing anything. Because normally IS, the C4FM one, is, is quite busy. So give it a go. They're such fun devices. I mean, I know they do cost a bit, but... But it's very light and portable, and it just it's a, it's a pure joy to use. I really enjoy using it visually and listening to it. It's good quality audio. Got your volume here, channel change here, memory. To save memories, it's really simple. Let's go back to a basic screen. Just go set, set again, and just go up to basic screen, set. And I go to VFO. If we go 145.750, which is a repeater set, I wonder if there's anyone else. So get the, the step in there. Uh, let's do it to 5 set. Seeing if anyone's about. No. Anyway, 145.750. Oh, it's 25. Well, that's interesting. Was I? Did I do it 100, did I? Let's go step. Well, I thought I selected... Um, Five. Hmm, interesting. Might be a bug. Um, so let's type it in. One, four, five, dot, seven, five, zero. That's the repeater. And then the mode. Mode. Oh, of course, that's why we didn't hear anything. We weren't in FM. Set. And you do narrow FM. Why not? Set. That's, my, that's probably why the step might have been different, do you reckon? Hmm. I still think that's... Let's go step. Five kilohertz. I swear. Set one. Interesting. I, I don't know if that's tallying with what we're typing. Right. So if you want to put that in the memory, we just hit the function button on the side. It says function at the top. Then we hit VM. It finds an empty channel. And then we just go set. And if you don't want to mess around with names and all that, just go down to right. And you've created another memory channel. Left, then set. So we go back to memory. It's there. And if when it becomes active, all this, oh, we have DMR activity there. So just make sure we're in the right mode. Full signal. 4308875. Ah, there is an analog repeater that's on a very near frequency because... Oh no, that is doing it. Why aren't we hearing it? I wonder why we're not hearing that. 4308875, colour code. Um, let's go to mode. Digital. DMR. Hmm, I think it's the, it's the one that's near me. Bye for now, 73.